Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Connect Spider video. So we're getting ready for our first big journey of the season. We're going to be heading up to the Sault Ste. Marie area, and uh, we're going to be exploring the Algoma Highlands. So that goes from Sault Ste. Marie up through Wawa. Then we're going to be heading off over to a place called Chapleau, back down to Elliott Lake, and then we'll meander our way back home from there. Our first day, although, is getting to Sault Ste. Marie, which is about 700 kilometers from where we live here in Fenland Falls. So today's ride is going to be just strictly getting halfway there, which is around Sturgeon Falls. So we've got a night book there, and then tomorrow we'll make a push to Sault Ste. Marie. Don't know how much filming we'll get today. The weather forecast is pretty wet, but we just got to get those miles down today. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, Thank you very much for watching. So here we are in our, our hotel room in Sturgeon Falls. Um, day one went really well, 306 kilometers. And we got the whole way without any rain and we didn't get wet. Um, a few sprinkles here and there, but overall the day went really well. So we just got back from doing a little bit of grocery shopping, got ourselves our, some food for tonight and of course the all-important couple of beers for the evening and we're all tucked in for the night. We've just got to go back down a little later on and cover up the bike and get it put to bed for the night. So day one over. Day two is tomorrow, which is our trip to Sault Ste. Marie, 397 kilometers, so we're going to be getting an early start on that one. A good day one. The consummate backseat driver. So we're just getting ready to put the spider to bed for the night. It's really nice at this Comfort Inn. In Sturgeon Falls, they allow us to park the bike underneath, so... Uh, just keeps it out of the weather, but we're still going to put the uh, cover on it. And what do we call that cover? Or bikini. The bikini cover, yes. And we'll show you why it's a bikini cover in a minute. So this is a two-person job, so I'm going to have to shut the camera off and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so this is the bikini cover. Why is it called a bikini cover, Loss? Right, right, right. So that's it all tucked away for the night. And we've got our little padlock on here just in case someone gets some ideas about uh, trying to take our trailer. We'll have to take the whole rig. Okay. Trailer's all locked up. We're good for the night. So we're at day three of our trip and we are in Sault Ste. Marie today. Uh, we're going to spend a full day here and we're just going for a walk. We finally seem to have got some a dry stretch of weather coming along here. So this is just a kind of like a waterfront park we're at right now. I'm just going to go for a little walk along the waterfront. So off in the distance there we've got the bridge to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And the U.S.-Canada border just is like not far offshore here. All that area over there is Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. From the Canadian side. So we're continuing on the boardwalk here along the waterfront at Sault Ste. Marie. And we're heading over to a lock that's supposed to have some historical significance. What are you doing? Fancy meeting you here. No. Oh. Want to go for a beer? Sure, sure. 
How about a motorcycle ride? No, not today. Not today. Yeah, no. we're having a day off of the day motorcycle off. today. Yeah, no motorcycling today. Yeah. You both got numb bum. No, just you, because you have no bum. So here's a view down the walk. That direction takes you to Lake Huron. And panning around. And that direction takes you up into Lake Superior. The last link linking the Atlantic Ocean to the last of the Great Lakes. So this sort of provides a bit of an overview of where I am right now. So this is the lower St. Mary's River to Lake Huron and then we come through the lock which is right in the middle there and then out into the upper St. Mary's River out to Lake Superior. So this is day four of our trip and we're just leaving Sault Ste. Marine right now and we're going to be heading up the eastern shore of uh, Lake Superior and we've got a couple of stops along the way. There's a place called the Alona Bay Lookout that we're gonna check out. And then we're gonna stop off at Lake Superior Provincial Park and see what's available there for us. We might spend part of the day there today, um, depending on what's open and what's not. And uh, there's a couple of other little kind of points of interest along the way that we're gonna stop. Our ultimate destination today is Wawa. And what a celebration tonight. We're actually gonna eat in a restaurant for the first time in 2021. So that's gonna be a fun thing to do for the first time in a long time, um, now that the COVID restrictions are being eased up in Ontario. So we'll be back along the way with some more footage. Chippewa Falls. It's about an hour or so, maybe not even an hour or so, out of Sault Ste. Marie. And this is a beautiful little spot right on the edge of the Trans Canada Highway. And there's Leslie down there. She's getting ready to take some still for us for the album. Okay, time to make our way back to the car car we're not driving a car i'm on my bicycle on your bicycle 
Oh. I hope I can keep up with you on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're taking the high road. It's going to bring us to the, the back here. So this was kind of a, an unscheduled stop. This wasn't even on our uh, on our map, but well worth it. There we go. We're getting back to the parking lot here. Yes. So, Les, is this a campground or a picnic area? Freezer. It's a picnic area. <sighs> I can never seem to get that right. Okay, so we're coming back to our chariot. The good old lug and roll and the spider. And run along just fine for this trip. So we just stopped at Lake Superior Provincial Park. And this is the beach at the park. That of course is Lake Superior. And I keep on meeting this person all over the place. Like, hi, how are you? Good. Nice to meet you here. Yeah. Can I go for a beer? <laughs> Another beer? No. So uh, what are you doing, Les? I'm probably doing something illegal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I usually see a lot of these if you go online you can order these but here they are at the edge of the water so i'm going to take a couple i just lost one well if, if you can order them online and you can pick them off the beach they probably it probably is something illegal people age but you just can't take the little kid out of them You put Leslie on a stony beach and she just starts picking things up. So this has just been a great trip so far. The first couple of days was just kind of getting some mileage, 700 kilometers from home to Sicilian Reef. Didn't particularly like that section of the trans Canada Highway. It was very busy, a lot of construction, lots of stops and starts. And uh, we were getting pretty hot. We were overheating a lot. And just sitting there waiting for uh, to get moving again. But today has been absolutely beautiful. Uh, we left St. Marie this morning um, before 9 o'clock. And... Um, this section of the Trans Canada Highway is just spectacular, as you will see or have seen in the video. Um, and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, thoroughly enjoyed it. And we don't have much farther to go to Wawa for our next overnight. So, just a few facts about Lake Superior. Um, that I've learned along the way. Um, lake Superior, obviously the shore of the lake is along the Trans Canada Highway, which is the longest paved highway in the world. Lake Superior um, has, I believe it's 10% of all the world's fresh water in it. And if you stretch the shoreline of Lake Superior out in a straight line, it would go all the way down to Miami, Florida in the U.S. So this is day five. Last night we stayed at this nice little motel. It's called the Parkway Motel just south of Wawa. So we're just getting ready to head out. Got the spider and the trailer almost all packed up. And today we're going to be heading up to Chapleau. First, we got to stop in Wawa and pick up some supplies and because there's not a whole lot between here and there in terms of stops. So just got to make sure that we've got food, etc. for the day and probably for this evening. So, day five. Let's do it. 
we just made a stop at the visitor center at Wawa on our way out. I guess no um, visit here would be complete without some footage of the massive Canada goose here.